Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Um, I want to talk. This is uh, it's about 11 o'clock at night. Um, I want to talk about a topic that's actually been really big lately, that there's been a lot of large con cre content creators that are shutting down their channels or stepping away from YouTube, um, mostly, I think, because it has become too much of a grind for them. And I've had a few people that are just getting started in YouTube and have asked me for tips and things um, about doing YouTube. And the thing I'm going to say, first of all, is um, I never envisioned myself actually being a content creator or YouTube. In fact, I am so old that when my daughter had got to her first 5,000 subscribers and became a YouTube partner. And I found out that she was having friends that were in California and she was a young teenager. And I was like, what are you doing with friends in California? I knew nothing about social media and computers and all that stuff and doing this. In fact, I used to stutter and had a problem talking in public. Um, but for me, social media has been incredible. I can actually speak in front of people and actually enjoy what I do. But this, depending on how you do this, I'm going to say if you are just getting into YouTube, YouTube is a wonderful thing. I have lifelong friends that I have uh, been acquainted with now because of this it's incredible that i can be talking to somebody who's in you know tokyo japan or in australia or anywhere across the world and can share content with them it is a beautiful thing but also it can be really really ugly and it doesn't matter what kind of content you put out there there are people that are going to be out there that will be cruel because it's easy to be a keyboard warrior. Um, this day and age, everybody is kind of angry in society, and sometimes you get this venom. I constantly, being a Dallas Cowboy YouTuber, constantly get a lot of hate um, beyond just comments on here, um, emails and so forth, and and all that where you have to kind of watch your back and you actually hear about some things that have actually happened to content creators. People sometimes take things too seriously and there is that danger side of it. But also too, if you are starting a YouTube channel and you're starting this because you're saying, I am going to be a content creator and this is going to be my living, then don't do it. Do not do it because you're going to be putting yourself under pressure from day one that is going to make it difficult because for me i actually have three channels i have this main channel here which is chobu sports report where it basically follows my day of the dallas cowboys and breaking news with the dallas cowboys i have chobu's day job where i'm a general contractor and i do home renovations and stuff and um put content on there and I also love to cook so I have Joe Boo's cooking and tailgating which I don't have enough time to really put a lot of content on it it's a very 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 small channel in fact this channel is not that big either and I'm growing but what I will say is in life you only have x number of time and if you're going to do something, you have to put that time. And when you put that time into one thing, that means it's time away from something else. And so me being down here at 11 o'clock at night, who just done my fireside chat, going through getting up all the news of the Dallas Cowboys and being able to put it out, takes time away from other things. It takes time away from your marriage or your kids and stuff. Fortunately, my kids are grown. But these are all things that you have to manage. And as you grow and get bigger, then the pressure builds up on keeping that content flowing. And that becomes the more difficult part because you have to evolve. If you're starting out with YouTube, you don't need a whole lot to start with. It's really, you can use your cell phone and get yourself a microphone is all you need. And that's what I tell most people when they first start. Don't spend a whole bunch of money thinking you've got to set up this great studio and everything else. What people will fall in love and the reason people will watch you is because they feel like they like you and they know you. 
So when you're going to do this, find something that you're passionate about because people will know if you're fake. My wife always says, do what you love and love what you do. And the things that I do on YouTube are all things that are part of my daily life. Diehard Dallas Cowboy fan. I love building and fixing my hands. I love cooking and entertaining. And that's what I've turned this into. Now, if you're trying to turn this into a full-time career, don't quit your day job. Do not quit your day job because the reality is there are millions and millions and millions and millions of channels. And there's some that make a boatload of money. Six figures, there's about 2 million YouTube channels that make six figures. Sounds great. But it's not just from ad revenue. It's also from other sources. It's, you know, merchandise and marketing and, you know, uh, uh, unveilings of products and things like that. Where all these things, the more you grow, the more time it's going to take and the more pressure that's going to be put on you. Now, if you're somebody that's got millions and millions of views, uh, of subscribers, there's more and more pressure where you're having to hire more people and things. And I learned from doing my construction business, I realized I had 25 employees working and we were building furniture stores and things and we're putting additions on houses. And it ended up being more of being a manager of those people and the paperwork and overseeing the jobs. What I realized for me is I am a very hands-on person. I enjoyed the creative side of actually building and getting my hands dirty and hated the business side. Fortunate for me is, and this is where I'm actually blessed with what I do. It's very raw. I do very little editing. But if you're one of those channels that when you do a video, you're spending, you know, 10, 15, 20 hours to come out with 15 minutes of content, it takes a lot of time. And sometimes when you put that content, the thing that's crazy about YouTube, there's no rhyme or reason. Sometimes you'll get content that you'll believe is the best thing that you've ever done. I had the blessing of going to Drew Pearson's Hall of Fame post party, which literally had Dallas Cowboys royalty roasting Drew Pearson. I thought it was the most incredible thing that I'd ever done to see Roger Staubach and Bob Lilly and Tony Dorsett, Rayfield Wright before he had passed, Charles Haley, Michael Irvin, and thought for sure this thing's going to go viral. And it turned out it was one of the poorest watch videos that I ever did. And that's the thing about YouTube is it can be very, very frustrating. And I can imagine being one of those large super large channels when you've got now people that are relying on the content that you're putting out for their livelihood that the pressure builds that's why i always try and keep this basically me and my wife that helps me with my channel and my kids and things where i can keep it as a small group of people to be able to do the content and do the things that i enjoy so keep those things in mind if you're starting a channel to understand that this is not easy. A lot of people think you just go ahead and put up your YouTube channel and boom, just wait for the money to roll in. And nothing could be further from the truth. It is a lot of work and it takes a lot of dedication. And if you do not put in the work, you're not going to get the results that you're looking for. And I hope that my little bit of advice here um, will help if you're starting a YouTube channel. Like I said, it has been one of the greatest things that I've ever done. And it's also been one of the hardest things that I've ever done. I appreciate you guys.